Hello there, and welcome to another episode of uh, HubSpot. Hello there, welcome to another CRM review by Ucidity. And uh, this month we're looking at Monday.com versus HubSpot. So you might have seen Monday.com advertised on the digital space. And essentially what they're saying is that uh, Monday.com is a fantastic option as a CRM system. What we're looking at is uh, a bit of a comparison with one of the market leaders, which is HubSpot. So let's uh, jump in and take a look from our perspective of uh, Monday.com versus HubSpot. So I think one of the uh, big things about Monday.com is it's easy to set up. So essentially you can go to the Monday.com website, click a few buttons, choose the CRM option, and uh, it's up and running fairly quickly for you uh, to be able to jump in and start adding contacts to the system, some sales deals to the system, etc. Uh, and we would say it's relatively easy to use. So essentially it runs very, very similar to a spreadsheet. I think most people are quite familiar with spreadsheets. So uh, you can essentially jump in pretty quickly and start adding information straight away. And uh, we would say that it is fairly cost effective as well. So uh, Monday.com does have some fairly uh, price effective uh, options where you can, uh, like we said, get up and running fairly quickly without having to spend um, a fair big, fair bit uh, of investment. So look, uh, I think the cons is that we would say it's got fairly limited functionality. So uh, what we mean by that is it is more of a spreadsheet functionality. So you can pull reports from it. You can store data in it, like uh, customer data such as uh, phone numbers, um, email addresses, and part of that business intelligence. Um, but what it won't do is something like if, say, you had a hot prospect go to your pricing page on your website, Monday.com won't tell you that. Uh, it won't automatically import, say, your, your phone calls that you've had with a client or the emails back and forth. Um, so it does have limited functionality. Uh, it is challenging to scale. So what we mean by that, if you want to split across multiple teams, have security layers um, to be able to report uh, in terms of, say, forecasting based on weighted forecasts, uh, probable close dates, etc. It is challenging to scale from that end. And then um, it's, we would say it's not necessarily a complete business intelligence solution. So because of that functionality lost in terms of um, say with HubSpot, and I don't know if you can see my phone there. So one of the things with HubSpot is if uh, someone does give me a call, their details are in HubSpot, it tells me in HubSpot exactly what sort of sales deal we've got going on the moment, um, and a whole bunch of uh, business intelligence. When I've hung up the phone call, I can click a button to say, hey, we just had a call. I can set a follow-up ta task to follow up with them on Monday morning, uh, excuse the pun, <laughs> and um, you know, Monday.com just doesn't have that that business intelligence layer as well. So let's have a look a bit at, at HubSpot um, as well. So with the professional version, even with the starter version, we would say it's uh, from our end an incredibly powerful business intelligence solution. So we look at a CRM system uh, rather than a place to store contact details. It's a business intelligence solution. So as an example, if my business partner Bernard has a meeting with someone say earlier this week, he would put his notes in the meeting at the sales deal, the fact that he's had a meeting, he's had a phone call, there's been emails back and forth. And if he's, um, he's, if he's sick for a couple of days, I can jump straight into our CRM solution and straight away get a, a quick picture of he's got a follow-up task to call them today. I can essentially take over that follow-up task. I can jump to the CRM and automatically see all of the correspondence and um, essentially take over that sales call and uh, progress it forward in the system as well. I can even see things like what web pages they've visited, uh, what social posts they've had. There's a whole uh, a layer of intelligence there as well. We would say it's easy to use. Monday.com is easy to use because you've used a spreadsheet, but um, HubSpot.com, uh, sorry, HubSpot, uh, we've, we've had multiple people that we have had to uh, bring into our systems as well where they have looked at HubSpot and without really having to train on HubSpot, they've been able to just start intuitively adding sales deals, recording information, without any real training. Um, they can start getting the basics into HubSpot as well. 
And uh, the big thing is that it integrates sales and marketing and customer support as well. So one of the things we look at is that whole ecosystem. So typically it would start off with marketing or sales, progressing through that amazing experience and then having that customer support layer as well where we've got a feedback layer where we can have reports, we can have customer service teams, we can have the sales team, we can have the delivery team tapping into HubSpot and saying, oh, this customer was, um, you know, needs a bit of love from this angle. We can pick that up straight away in HubSpot.com. Uh, in HubSpot, I keep saying HubSpot.com, but that's okay. Uh, so look, uh, from cons, from a lot of people we work with, um, initially it does seem an expensive option. Uh, so typically we're looking at, for the professional version, anywhere from 1600 to up to about 2K a month, which can be a big psychological jump. Um, but when you look at what you get back from it, uh, it's actually a, a fantastic investment uh, because typically the alternative is that you uh, say with monday.com you're going to have to use like something like Zapier to integrate with your accounting system uh, and then you've got to tap into you've got to have another social posting layer you've got to have another layer for reporting um, there's there's lots of different layers that need to be maintained um, from security maintenance um, training uh, when everything is in one single system where all the data just integrates with it with um, within that one system it does make it a much um, cheaper option uh, more cost effective option in the uh, in the long term as well um, it can take more specialized resources to set up so what we typically say and this is I would say a pro anacon um, is that in order to roll out a professional version of HubSpot typically you can't just click a button and then you're up and running uh, it there needs to be a planning layer up front up front and that 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 planning layer is the one that builds your framework on how to actually roll out your business intelligence framework for your business so um, con yep you do need specialized skills pro of that is that you actually get a real really um, well thought out strategic um, business intelligence solution for your business um, so that's hum, uh, monday.com versus HubSpot and let's just have a super quick look um, so this is monday.com out of the box we've got um, a CRM sheet where we've got some clients that we can tap into and um, uh, some client details, so it might be something like their uh, their contact details, a status of where something's at in terms of a sales deal, maybe the date is expected to close, uh, and we've got this fairly simplistic but easy to get started view of uh, your CRM system. And I'm just going to jump into HubSpot really quickly as well. So as an example, this is uh, an example um, section of uh, our an interaction with my business partner Bernard so we've got uh, a call logged we've got a task automatically followed up from that call um, we've had uh, a couple of uh, meetings booked um, we've got emails that are automatically in here and the system just automatically does that so if I just move this over a little bit I think we can see that uh, so my video is in the way um, should we jump to the next screen so as an example what we've got here is that um, uh, on my contact record I can see the pages that I've been viewing on our website so if a from that business intelligence layer if someone is looking at my contact record they can see we've seen a lot of website uh, pages the specific website pages so I can say hey they're interested in my podcast that they run so um, there you go there's a quick comparison of monday.com versus HubSpot uh, in essence, Monday.com is a great starting tool. Um, HubSpot.com is your growth tool. So thanks for watching and see you in our next uh, recording. Thank you.